Labour Senator Sam Dastyaris' unprecedented resignation has thrown Chinese political influence into the heart of the crucial Balog by Alexio and could help PUT a break on Beijing's covert activities in Australian politics. Senator Dastyeri on Tuesday became the first Australian MP ever to resign from Parliament because of questions about his links to a foreign power at the expense of Australia's interests. Just a few days out from the Balog poll, which will be critical to Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's future, both major parties signalled they would hammer the issue. The seat has a high proportion of Chinese-Australian voters and Labor has signalled it will continue accusing the government of overblown Chinophobia in its attacks. The resignation has also thrown up the possibility that Labor's star candidate for the Sydney seat, former New South Wales Premier Kristen Akeelit, could have a fallback option if she loses on Saturday by filling the Senate vacancy. Some Labor MPs privately expressed relief Senator Dastyeri was leaving, saying his position had become untenable after revelations by Fairfax Media that he had tipped off Beijing-linked billionaire Huang Xiaogmo that his phone might be tapped by intelligence services and tried in 2015 to dissuade then-Labor Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Tanya Plibersik from meeting with a pro-democracy activist in Hong Kong. Senator Dastyer I read out a statement without taking questions, saying that reflecting on the events which led to my decision, I leave knowing that I have always honoured my parliamentary oath, I have always acted with integrity, and I remain a loyal, patriotic Australian. Opposition leader Bill Shorten praised Senator Dastyeri as a decent man and loyal Australian but said he had shown very poor judgment and demanded the government move on from the issue. Standing next to Ms Keely in Belog, Mr Shorten said the government needed to use this opportunity to drop their Chinophobic attacks and get on the issues affecting everyday Australians. Ms Keely's campaign is expected continue to press the Chinophobia message this week. People in the Chinese community are alive to the fact that this sort of stuff appeals to an element of the Prime Minister's conservative base, who he needs to keep happy, but they don't like it at all, one Labour insider said. As the clear focus of the government's efforts to tackle foreign interference, Beijing has reacted angrily to some of the Turnbull government's language and Australian media coverage. But Foreign Minister Julie Bishop, appearing with Liberal candidate John Alexander, who had to resign because he has British citizenship, dismissed suggestions the debate was harming Chinese-Australian relations. The issue is about the Chinese people in Belog. What we were talking with the Sam Dastyeri matter is about his personal behaviour and his inability to part Australian interests first, she said. Experts and security sources said they expected that Senator Dastyeri's resignation, on top of the Turnbull government's laws to curb foreign interference, should help signal to Beijing that Australia is cracking down. Australian Strategic Policy Institute Executive Director Peter Jennings said this would force Beijing to change its approach.